I keep it 100, like Borden <laughs> In the streets, but especially when recording Mint tea and a spliff in the morning Then I beat up the beat like doors to a Mormon Mama said the devil find works for bored men And leave trouble, only white men can afford them I try to put my focus on the Lord then But like Hocus, I was back up in the trouble Won't know this in the future You should let me sign a bitch <laughs> You guys, you, you girls sure. like when a guy shit talks to during sex, like, I love when I hear him talk shit. I don't get too much, don't go overboard. Don't just, but he gotta sound right, he gotta sound right, he gotta sound right. Sometimes it's too much, like, yo, I found your whore ass on the street. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yo, you guys are just fucking with me. Okay, 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 Next question. Yo, once you guys have sex with a guy, are you and you like him, does that automatically mean you're a type of a couple? No, absolutely not. No. no. You don't you don't feel like he owes you any type of Loyalty, something? No. Loyalty? You don't owe me shit no. 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 So you don't mind if like right the next day you just don't hear from him anymore? Like or right after that he cuts you off, it's whatever. He a grown ass man. You can no. do what he wants, yeah. It's not that oh, I like it. Yeah. There's no way there's no need to call down his phone or some shit like that. When you sleep with a man, does he owe you any type of loyalty for you sleeping with him? Nothing. But if it's a few times now, like at what point does it, does this become more than just fun sex? When you have a conversation and you let me know that you want something more on less than that. Like, until you so you're saying until you have that conversation, yeah. it's just fun. You guys all agree with yeah, you. Yeah, and that's the thing, you both feel too entitled about stuff they haven't discussed. Okay. And that's not good. You have to communicate. Or you have those people who like act like they're in a relationship with you when you do something, but when mm. they do something, it's cool. They're not in a relationship no more. Mm. That's different. It's a different mm. concept. If you want to act like we're in a relationship when I'm with a nigga, you know what I mean? You better act like you're in a relationship when you're with a female. Mm. You know what I mean? That's like a different concept if we don't talk about it. Then mm. you acted like we're in a relationship, mm. right? That's I have no problem thing. being here for a good time and not a long time, so you will not make me feel bad. But what if it is a long time and it's a good time? Like, no, but a long yeah, time can yeah. be multiple short times, and it's not like we're in a relationship or anything. Okay, so facts. Okay. That's what you mean, because you mean like it's almost a build up to a relationship. Nowadays, like build up, okay, nowadays, is there like a, a yo, will you be my girl? I feel like that doesn't happen as much yeah, nowadays. Not as much. Yeah. No, it does. Yeah. Not as much. Not as much. But I feel like people just go with the flow when they're talking no, you go, because you go, they're with each other all the time. Unless you make it known that you're making a girl. Exactly. Never girl. Yeah. I never, like, I never truly know I have to look at hints and shit. But that's why we have problems in relationships nowadays, though. Communication. It's, it's not like how it was back in the days. There's no shit. There's no, like, mm, no rules to it. There's no being a female, being a woman. There's no rules. There's nothing anymore. Just do what the fuck you gotta do. Whoever survives makes it to the end, gets marriage, mm -hmm. and actually survives marriage, mm -hmm. you're the winner. You know what I mean? And now even at that point, you're still not even winning. Mm -hmm. Because there's still more concepts. Oh, how many, yeah. how many niggas did you fuck did before you went into the relationship? You know, it's just like, this is always something. Does that, that matter? We can't win. We can't win. Does huh? that matter? Does it matter? No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. But will it? Eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think so? Well, Why it's, eventually? Because like people always go back for like backgrounds, right? They start to feel guilty on the inside, or they start to feel like insecure on the inside. So they go to to your background, like what you were doing before. Like I can see the way you're looking at that girl. Like 20 years ago, you used to be like a player. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are you going back like that again? Mm -hmm. It was always something like that. Mm -hmm. No, nah, don't do that shit with me. It's gonna <laughs> turn me up so fucking quick. I'll be gone. Go <laughs> so and the door will be shut. See what I'm saying? See, that's how a relationship ends. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is nowadays. Yeah. You can't trust anybody because it's not like how it was before. Yeah. You had a set rule yeah. of like, yo, be a man, take care of your family. It's not like that anymore. I don't know, like my last relationship, it really just got with the flow and after a while I told him, I was like, hey, you're the only man I'm having sex with, like, do you feel the same about it, how do you feel about that, and that's pretty much how we communicate.
indicated that we were both being monogamous. But if he would have told me that he had sex with somebody else, I couldn't be mad or hurt or butthurt about it because we never addressed it. But I feel like naturally you will feel a little way about it. It's just natural. No, because I can no. really fuck with you and that does not mean that I... Feel ownership or jealousy. Is it jealousy natural when you like somebody? If you like somebody and you see them giving affection to someone else, no. would you naturally feel jealous? It's not jealous. It's what pride. Is it? You think it's pride? It's pride. It's not, you, you, pride is more like, like you no. Pride is more like else. you should it's only be with me. That's no, pride. But me feeling a little way that you're with somebody else is just jealousy. No, you're, you're disrespecting me. In front of my friends, in front of my oh, boys, if, in front if of my friends, that. you're making me feel small. It's not like I'm feeling guilty. I'm feeling disrespected. It's, oh, all, it's what? all about What's the making pride. Me feel disrespected? It's all about the pride. You're making me feel small. Like, yo, you have some guys out there, right? Mm -hmm. They're fucking with a girl, right? They won't care that she's talking to another nigga unless their boys are watching. It's all about the pride. They feel oh, disrespected. That's 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 I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's a fact. That's that's how you even get a hood nigga to like you. That's fact. you start liking his boys. I had someone I had someone spit that to me before. We had a whole conversation. He's like, I, I could look stupid in private. That's what he said. See, That's see, what he they were actually tell you that. Right. He's like, but now it's known that everybody knows and everyone heard about it and you're so you're, and you guys they see you guys and it's like it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So they really do like that. Unless you let me know that we're in a monogamous relationship together, I won't feel stupid that you have other shit with other people because mm -hmm. you just believe I do what might be happening. And what about you guys? When you're having sex with a guy, do you feel do you feel guilty if you're gonna end up having sex with another guy? Because like I mean a guy that you're frequently having sex with. Do you feel guilty for sex with someone? If you're not my man, why should I? It's not about communication. It's really, as I said, like if you y'all didn't communicate the monogamous, because other people are in polygamous relationships, so mm -hmm. for them it doesn't even apply. So it's like if we haven't had the conversation that we really are one on one, we don't have other relationship or sex or whatever anything else with other people. You shouldn't people, expect anything. Exactly, it's entitlement, and entitlement rule ruin people, it ruin friendships, relationship, even some relationship that I have with family members. So I'm not trying to have that with people. But can you stop yourself from feeling that way? That's thank you. That's what I'm yes. saying. That's yes. what I've been what saying. What's having a conversation? What you feel it? Mm. It's definitely different. But you're asking us what we would show. Mm. We wouldn't show anything. So you show like you don't give a fuck. Yeah, but you're human. You're human, right? You're human. Like no. you said, the pride. I thought I thought it. I think like at that point there. Everything jumps in. I thought I thought I thought the way I chose it. So when you start feeling something, that means a conversation needs to be had. Because then you're just hurting yourself exactly in silence. Like, how would you do that? And if you know you can't, don't. Exactly. Yeah, don't just Okay, fine, let's flip it. Let's flip it. So let's say you're sleeping with other guys, but you have this guy you're sleeping with all the time. Are you going to let that guy know that you're sleeping with other guys? Or that's none of his business? It's his business. His business? You sleep with him all the time. Yeah. So once you're sleeping with him, it's his business who you sleep with. Yeah. It's not no, who not the fact that I am. But if you are, not if he asks, that I am. Only if he asks. No, no. No. I would say if he asks. Only if he asks. So you're not volunteering because, because information. Because I, I don't ask. I don't want to know. You know, because I don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to, if you want to, if you, wanna, if you it, I feel like it's your job to protect yourself. Mm. So if you don't want, if you feel like you, should, you don't want to ask and you feel like that person is what you have to do, wrap it up. And if you don't trust or ask the question, yo, when's the last time you do that? Or you want to do this wrong? When's the last time I need to know? Like, I need to see that. And, like, like that's yeah. just how it has to be. So, do you guys all feel like that? Like, you don't want to know? I don't want to know. Me, I'm the type of I can't handle it. Don't mm. tell me. What about you guys? No, I do want to. You want to know. You want to know. Yeah, unless, 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 unless we're building to become a relationship and that might hurt my feeling and make me feel some type of way, I actually do want to know. Bang, so that's what you guys want to know? I don't want to know. You're sleeping with that guy and you see what other people you guys want to know? If it's like a raw situation, I want to know. Okay. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, you too? Yeah, for sure. The same thing. If it's a raw situation, it's a medical. It's a medical thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a medical thing. But besides that, what I still want to know 
in a way, it's like, like what you said before, I'm a jealous type of person. Mm. To me, once I find out, the relationship is done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then I can go fuck with someone. So it's better. So, the so then so it's, it's cool for a guy to hide that from you. If, if a guy has that knowledge that you're not going to fuck with him if you know. And he hides that. Exactly, and then he hides it from me that becomes do you a different un- story. Do you, un- do, you un- do you understand that? No, I don't. It from you? Because if I now explain it to you, right? Okay, I'm a jealous type of person, mm. and we can fuck around if it's just me and you because I feel this type of way, mm-hmm. and you still go out of your way to lie, no, that's a lie, mm-hmm. right? Besides that, it's all your business, right? But besides that, we had that conversation that we were talking about before. Because I will go up to you straight up and be like, hey, we can do this, right? I don't want to catch nothing. I don't want to feel like yeah. you're doing all of this. Then, mm-hmm. if you don't want to fuck with it, it's your problem. What about in a relationship? If your man is cheating, do you guys want to rather not know, or do you? you want not to tell me. It's not gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. There's, no, there's no way. There's no way. Whether we have kids, we're married or not, tell me. It's not gonna leave. No matter what you're doing. No matter. Tell me. Tell me. I really rather you telling me than me figuring it out. Like, exactly. it, but what, what if he doesn't tell you? You just never know. No one knows. Everybody's happy, you know? <laughs> no, no, but like the, the vibes actually change. Yeah. Like when people feel guilty or people, not necessarily guilty, but like when people feel like they did something wrong, because you might feel like you did something wrong without feeling like you, you was, were guilty. It kind of changed the dynamic, and that's my thing. It's like it's not even about cheating. As soon as the dynamic between us change, and I have to start asking myself question why, I don't want to be there. I don't want to have someone making me feel good and making me feel overtake at the same time. Mm-hmm. That's not for me. Thanks. I don't remember the question. Thanks. Where are you at? Because we be going. If you're in a relationship. Do you want to know if he's cheating or you'd you rather not know? I don't want to know. It's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. I don't want to know. You don't want to no. know? Just let me know who I will go. Because mm. yeah, I'm going to find out. So once I find out, then you I'm going to find out. They don't know you don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> don't come tell me it's going to crush me. Yeah. It's going to ruin everything. You're right. Just take it. You know? I'm not saying. Banks, can you forgive cheating? Can I have, oh, no, I never fully forgave. I'm still mad. So I guess no. 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 Mm-hmm. Sure, you know what you forgive so, right mm, Well, I will no, it's not necessarily that I won't forgive you because I had an ex who cheated on me and multiple years later I saw him and we had cool. a really a really yeah. dope conversation. Like he's not in my life anymore. We're never gonna sleep again together, we're never gonna be in a relationship. But it was a respectful conversation, but it's like I will feel some type of way and I do not want to be in a relationship with someone where I'm feeling feel some type, some type of, way. of way. Like if I'm in a relationship with you, I want to feel comfortable Happy. and fully there to be able to build with you. If I feel yeah, like yeah. I have to look behind behind myself, look around this and that, it's, it's not for me. I don't want to be on my guard in a relationship with, that I have with someone that I call my partner. Has cheating been like the main reason why most of you guys' relationship haven't worked out? No. <laughs> What have been some reasons why your relationship has to work out? Um, maybe he's way too clingy. He's too clingy. That part. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what I was going to say. I do the clingy, clingy, clingy. Like, like you have no space like, like to do your own thing. Mm. Like <laughs> Birds? Aggressiveness, sneakiness, and possessiveness. Mm. I would say cleanliness and lack of communication. And one thing about me is like, I have my own apartment, I have multiple jobs, multiple social income. And a lot of men sees that. A lot of men actually say they want this in a woman, but as she said earlier, it's literally to be babied by that woman. And for me, that is not it. Like, I don't mind cooking for you, I don't mind doing this and that, but like, if you are relying on me to do those things, go back to your mom. <laughs> yeah. That's really what it is. Too. Um, yo, do do men pillow talk a lot? Like, Hell yeah, he's so snitching on them. Yeah, he comes snitch on them. That's me. Don't touch. Yeah, they be talking shit about their homies and shit Not like that. Not talking shit, but they be spilling the beans. Definitely. Like me, I even be with the friends looking at me. That's the one. Yeah, and he ain't telling you too. Like, babe, that's the one. What's the life right here, guys? I hear that those are no looks, bro. Yo, that'd be the funny guess. That'd be the funny guess. 
I swear to God. No. You be talking to you have to remind them that yeah. you barely know them. Like you know this is the first link, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, yo, do you think men are too soft nowadays? No, no. No, please be soft with me. Be soft yeah. with you? Be, be no. hard with the others. They're be mixed soft up. They're mixed up with it nowadays with how to be soft and how to be strong kind of thing. It's yeah. mixed up nowadays. There's no such thing as being soft mm -hmm. nowadays. There's not even a female out there that's soft. You think so? Like being soft, soft is not being a simp. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not. It's not. Mm. So the difference between being soft and a simp? Yeah. Like if you're a simp, you a trick. If you soft, you care about me. You care about how I'm going to react and feel about your actions. But as a girl, what's soft? Being emotional all the time or just doing everything for the person? Yeah, for men. That's pretty much so it. doing everything. No, so I feel like it just be like caring. Like, you're his girl, you know what I'm saying? If niggas be on the they gotta be hard with their niggas all the time. Sometimes I just want to come down to their lady and just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, just yeah, cuddle yeah. up and be soft, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. just get a little. I feel like a man, a man is always trying to portray such a hard image that. When he's with his girl, he, he, wants, he wants to like, like chill. chill and soft and all. It's like, it's, you can't even use the word soft because it's being, it's like negative, right? It's like yeah, negative, it's the like connotation. Kind of it's yeah. not really being it's soft, soft. It's, it's really being comfortable, but also exactly. being judgeable. Because a lot of men will feel judged for being comfortable, exactly. like, oh, why are you doing this? Why are you sitting like that? Why, yeah. why are your hands on your hips? This and that. Like, us ladies, exactly. we don't give a shit about all that. We just have you home. Because when a guy really loves you or really likes you and really comfortable around you, same like being around his mom or his sister, right? He just feels like his body yeah. is just like, let's go. And you can tell that he's not playing a game. And when a guy shows that kind of affection, it actually shows you when you feel the kind of affection, you feel more love for him too. Like, I don't want my man to act with me the way he acts in the street. This won't it's work. It won't work. It will not. It won't work. It won't work. Sometimes that's what attracts you about the guy, though. What? It's a different side about a guy that attracts us. No, it can be your, no, your dominant side. side. That doesn't mean that I want you to be like that with you. Yeah, yeah. aggressive yeah. all the yeah. time, feeling like you need to walk home. No, this yeah. is not it. Like, you're not. Through the pain, through the struggle. If you try to reach and you go and pull a muscle, I did it all for the hustle. Trying to pull Bill Russell. Through the pain, through the heat. I can't take it too much pain in these streets. I did it all for my pimps. I did it all in these streets. Had a lot of pain in me. Now I got these chains on me. Think my legs gave out the way I keep this cane on me.